recovering. I've been ailing for a while, but it comes with bad habits in old age. We all have them, don't we? Yeah. Well, a while back I was talking to one of your lieutenants, okay. and it uh, came about that he didn't understand when a person has to ID, which comes under 3802. And he didn't know about 3802 is when you have to ID. Mm -hmm. And he was under the impression that basically if he can detain you, he can ID you and take you to or arrest you for not IDing. And that's wrong. And we've taken it all the way to the fifth court, fifth district court under Turner versus Driver. It's been out for a while. So there's no excuse for this department not to know about it. And if a lieutenant doesn't know about it, I'm sure it's pretty widespread throughout the department. Okay. The reason I'm coming here today and letting you know ahead of time in this manner because I have a special place for this town in my heart and this PD because I was I've known some of the police officers in the past pretty well but I also want you to understand this is very serious to me this is what I do I expose bad police officers in bad police departments. Okay. I've been involved with many of them and taken down quite a few. It cost me a lot of money, and a lot of grief, and a lot of time. But I can't, I have to do it. It's just what I have to do because police departments and police officers in this day and age are getting ridiculous. I've checked your, tested your city pretty much already. In the, so far, they've been pretty good. So I'm not complaining about any, except for maybe Woodard. He's no longer here, he's been gone for years. Okay, well, I haven't kept up with who's here. I'm glad he's gone, because he was a problem. Uh, anyway, they've passed my test to the mo for the most part so far. But that one thing, if a police officer does not know what 3802, then he's ticketing, when arresting people that he has no right to do. That screws people's lives up, it puts, gives them records. If they don't have the finances to defend themselves, they have to pay the price, and the police officer pays nothing, which is ridiculous. That's what I do. I make, my <clears throat> end goal is to make the police officer who does the pro has the problem pay for it. But this is Cibolo, and I do have a fine place in this town for Cibolo, so. I want to give you all a chance to fix it. And if you don't believe me on what 3802 says, which is I don't have to identify to any police officer for any reason unless I'm being written a ticket for something or being arrested. He didn't even really understand when you could detain somebody. He thinks you can detain somebody because they're walking past, say at nighttime, and some store has been robbed a couple times in the past, that he can detain somebody just for walking near that place. That's BS. Who was this person? It's one of your lieutenants. And I'm not going to tell you which one because I want it addressed across the board. Okay. Because if one has that problem, another has that problem. Okay. Uh, I did give him a chance. I, I mean, I, I explained all that to him. Yes, sir. I gave him a chance to go back and bring it up to y'all and check out Turner versus Driver that my definition of 3802 is the proper one and is backed up by the law. But there's a whole lot of police officers in this state that don't care, don't understand, or ignorant to the fact on purpose. And sometimes it's hard to tell which it is. But any police officer to me that doesn't understand that is a bad police officer. Okay. And 
any life that is screwed over by a bad police officer or a knowledgeable police officer is a problem. Now, I would like to take care of this without creating any more problems, without going to the mayor, or without bringing lawyers in, or without bringing my crew in. I have a lot of resources in the media. I also have a lot of resources with the lawyers and finances and activists that will come to this town and test you. Sometimes out in the open with a camera and you'll know what you're, that it's been happening and sometimes you won't know. All right. And I don't mean that as a threat, but I mean that as I want you to understand this is serious. I can bring those people in and I will if I have to. All right. And I would like to have some way to verify that your guys know what you're doing, that, that y'all have had a meeting or addressed everybody, you know. Uh, and I would like to say I would just take one of y'all's word for it, but I can't. There's too many bad police officers out there right now. And I don't know you. Mm -hmm. And I don't know the police chief here. The old police chief, I knew. He's, he's dead now. He was a good man, very good man. And if he told me I'll fix it, and it's done, I'd, I'd take his word for it. Okay. But I don't know any of y'all that well. All right, so is there anything, way we can arrange that? What's that, a training? Uh, y'all can just <clears throat> talk to them individually if you want to and see if they understand what it is. Make sure they are aware of Turner versus Driver, all right? Turner lost the case, but the definition of what 3802 came out in it. Right. All right. And there's too many police officers that try to go to the sec second section of 3802 where it, it says, and I'm not good with my memory, but basically what it says is you can't lie about your information if you mm -hmm. give it, mm -hmm. but you, it doesn't say you have to give it. Right. All right. Are you aware of 3802 and how the proper, the, do, are we in agreement on that part? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, this has been a, late last year, early this year, that this happened, so maybe, but he never contacted me again. All right. And I gave him an email, but I didn't see him write it down. Okay. So I didn't really figure I'd get any information back. But some people have a really good memory. Maybe he, you know, took care of whatever else that was going on and wrote it down later for some other time. I don't know. Do you need something? I, okay. But is there any way we could do figure out a way that I would know that y'all yeah. had some training or something? Sure. Just an email or something showing that it went to everybody in the department or something. You know. Let me give you my card. It's got my right. email address on there. Okay. And let me get your email. First, if I can get your name, if you don't mind, sir. Well, no, you can't have me. No? All right. I've been retaliated to too many times okay. for what I do. All right. P and P uh -huh. news at protonmail.com. Proton as in P-R-O-T-O-N. I just want to make sure I get it right. Okay. Right. Yeah, we can definitely look into that and... Uh, make sure that everybody's on the same page do you have any examples of somebody not doing it correctly no just a, police, a lieutenant saying explaining okay. to me his definition of it and okay. it wasn't right and hopefully he did already go hey you guys you know right he's right you know but well, i know when the uh the open carry law came out we knew that we were probably good tested and, and everything else. So we, we did sit down with the guys and explain exactly we what we did. We never tested you. I'm part of that organization, too. Yeah. Open Carry Texas. Yeah. And I mean, in fact, you have been tested a long time ago when, when uh, that whole movement started. Right. Because I was in the beginning of it, I was there the first day. And I've, I've carried in this town. Nobody ever said anything. Never had a police officer call on me. And that was years ago. But 
when the old, I was in this part of town where the older people and the people have been around for a while. If I would have been in one of the new neighborhoods, eh, maybe I would have got called on. I don't know. Probably. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, all right, so. I guess there's really nothing I, could, I can do to verify it except for bring people in. But if you can show me some way that you have talked to the people, to the guys and gals, I'll leave it alone. I say, okay. What's up to you? You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. So. Well, like I said, I gotta find a place for this town, and I really don't want to stink things up too much. Right. That's why I'm here with you today. Exactly. But I can, and I, I don't really want to. I mean, you know the problems with almost parking Leal Valley. I've heard some stuff. Yeah. I was in on it. I'm part of that, and they're gonna lose their ass most likely because. We're well funded and lots of, lots of good lawyers. So, right. But you never can tell what's going to happen in court. That's true. <laughs> Until it's over with. That's true. Well, I appreciate it. All right. Uh, I know you're probably not real happy with me, but. I'm not. Why would I be upset with you? Well, I have come not to trust very many police officers, and I don't know you that well. I don't know you at all, really. I do know there's a few really good police officers. I can there. tell you this. I've been here since 2001. I've been here a long time. Yeah. There's a special place in my in my heart for this town as well. Yeah. And uh, you know, if people don't tell us what we're not doing well, how are we supposed to fix it? Yeah. Well, in a lot of towns, we've noticed that we don't get any action unless we come out and get it on video right. and make a big stake. Yeah. And I've got access to over 300,000 viewers on YouTube. And that's not counting Facebook, Twitter. Right. And a few others. And when we do put something out, it gets noticed. And the city is flooded with calls. The mayor, I mean, thousands of calls a week, if not hundreds a day. Right. And I've started to take a little bit different. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work with this one. If it works out to my satisfaction, I'm going to do that first from now on when I find a problem before it gets on video and on YouTube, or on YouTube. If I get it on video, I'll go to the police department and say, hey, we need to fix this. And if they convince me they fixed it, it won't go on YouTube. And that's where I think I'm gonna do it from now on. Well, I think that forms more of a partnership than a threat. Kind yeah, of thing, but. You know I mean, it's, it's more adversarial when it's kind of a threatening thing, I think, so. Yeah, but you know who makes it threatening? Because it's the bad police officers. Bad police officers get good ones killed. Right. And hurt, and then bad police officers go around thinking everybody's out to kill them, and shoot innocent people through windows in their own homes, which I'm sure you're aware of, mm -hmm. you know, and other stupid things. Right. So it's it's like it just feeds itself, and it's coming to the point where I had to step up and do something, and a lot of other people are too. I'm trying to find, like I just described, a, fun, a, a nicer way to get it done. Right. But there's a lot of police officers, um, police departments, that the chief is the problem. And if the chief's the problem, it's not going to get fixed unless you go to the mayor. Most of the time, the mayor kisses the police chief's butt. Anyway. All right. Well, not most of the time. Too many times that I've been involved with.